Someone hit the block of my tape, it was us. Man, a house in Rose, but this shit too flush. Hey y'all, and welcome or welcome back to another part of this vlog. It's gonna be over a week, y'all, because I don't be doing shit. Y'all know I go to work and come home. I go to work and come home. But this week was my sister's birthday on Tuesday. So I went to the bar. I don't think I recorded nothing, but we did take some pictures, so I will insert those. Right now I'm at Walmart in the pickup line because I'm picking up groceries, but they ain't text me to pick them up yet. So I went to KFC and got me some chicken. Oh my god. Y'all, y'all on the steering wheel, so don't come for me. I'ma bag up a little bit. I'ma bag up a little this is a smidge. So I go to KFC and I want it. That air is loud, but I can't be hot like that. It's kind of breezy outside though. Hold up. It's kind of breezy outside. We're gonna open that sun thing. I'm gonna turn this air off for a hot second. But um she got me some big chicken tenders. I wanted a pot pie while I sitting away from my groceries. But she told me it was gonna be a 25 minute wait. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Now I'm gonna wait 25 minutes. I've been up since 8.30, I ain't ate a thing. All I have is some water, so y'all yeah, got three piece chicken strips with macaroni and cheese and a biscuit. And what I don't normally drink, a raspberry tea. Cause they ain't had no regular tea. They only had unsweet tea. I said, girl, god damn. I said, what do y'all got, girl? All I wanted was a chicken pot pie, and I couldn't even get that. I'm get my fork out of here. I did get some barbecue sauce too, but I don't even know what that barbecue sauce tastes like. I ain't gonna lie. I just say what I normally order. And I look rough and I don't care. And I don't care because, baby, it's Saturday. I need one to leave the house, but um, I grocery shop every fucking week because my kids eat me out of the house at home. So, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna try this barbecue sauce, though. Mm. That's not hot as fuck. It's super hot. It's good though. I don't know why I didn't get ranch. This macaroni ain't hot though. But anyway, y'all, I've been a lot going on. For my son's birthday, and then my sister's birthday, and then my mama's birthday coming up next week. Three birthdays in one month. Mm mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who working hot? Yeah, I ain't get no better for my biscuit or nothing. You can get biscuits though. Pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm so. <laughs> so, anyway, me and my sister, my brother, had made up for her birthday. Along with some of her, her friends or whatever. And this nigga gonna tell me. Who? My brother gonna tell me. My nephew asked him. Why do my auntie care so much? Y'all thought that was so funny. Because I really don't be trying to cuss. I don't. I don't intentionally cut. It just come out like that. I don't know. I'm working on that. I was bleeping it out, but then my nephew and my niece like, people be cussing on there. I'm like, yeah, people do be cussing on their channel. Way, like, people that got, like, hella subscribers. 
But I guess don't be cussing like me. <laughs> Ain't nobody me. I do my own thing. But yeah, so I be saying it all the time. I be like, I'm gonna stop cussing. I'm gonna stop cussing. I'm never gonna stop cussing. Never. I'm never gonna stop cursing. I don't even know how to not curse. Cause it just come out so naturally. It just happens. It's just a thing that happens. But like I said, if anybody's offended, click off. Cause I don't give up. F word. You already know. Damn, hello cards pulling up. You know, I'm literally just gonna pick up air and eat my food. They didn't even text me if my order was ready yet. They usually do it at like 45. And my time on my phone is, I mean, not my phone, in the car. I put it four minutes ahead. So it's only 140, so in about five more minutes, they should be texting me. But my pickup order is ready. Right, because I was using. I was using my Walmart delivery because, like, y'all know I got Walmart Plus. I say all the time I got Walmart Plus, and I was going to cancel them and say, me But I don't feel like going in the damn store with all these goddamn people. I don't. I done got real lazy. Like, in the real last way, I done got real lazy. So, back up. And I'm like, God damn. It ain't like, so what I found out was the person that picked your order also be the person that delivered your order. And, or is it only when you pay for Express? I don't know, but when you pay for Express, the person picking your order also delivers your order. So they text you, oh, is there anything you don't want with the whoop? If something is out, they text you right away. Like they text your phone, like to let you know. But with the regular delivery, they don't do that. They, they tell you like, maybe an hour ahead, um, um, like an hour before your order is ready, they text you that, Oh, we're at this, so we're gonna we were gonna substitute this, yada yada yada. If you allow for substitutions to be picked, if whatever you originally ordered wasn't available, and I don't allow that because I don't want them giving me shit that I didn't order. Where is this man going with these two million blues on? Let me shut the up. He can probably hear me. It's not cold enough for Tim Milan boots, like for real, for real. You got the motherfucker gone though. But, um. So, they text you an hour ahead to let you know if something's not available. And then you can say whether you approve the substitution or not. But if you miss the text or you're not paying attention to your phone at the time when they text you, they'll give you that shit anyway. That's why I don't allow for substitutions because I want what I want. But anyway. It just really depends on what it is. Some shit is like, no, absolutely not. Do not serve too much shit for nothing in this world. Absolutely not. Now, if they don't have it, that's one thing. But they be lying. And one time, I ordered express and a girl was picking my order. And she was like, oh, this isn't available. And I was like, well, do they have this one instead? I just like, oh, no, my bad. It was available. I was on the wrong aisle. Pay attention to what you're doing, little girl. But anyway, they be having me up, missing stuff out of my order, bringing me other people's stuff out of other people's order that I didn't order. Mind you, you pay up front, so it's not like they're going to get your money right there. So you have to report that this item was missing, yada, yada, yada. Go to the go through the return process just to get your money back, even though you're not returning nothing. That's the only way you're gonna get it back. And you just click the items that are missing, and then they'll return your refund your money. But 
most recently, I did an order in about $40. $40 of my order wasn't available. They claimed they didn't have it. So, I just didn't get those items, but I was charged for those items. And do you know it took them like five, about five days to return me my $40? I was like, hold on. Run me my shit immediately. Like y'all doing as a refund. Run me my money. So now, I'm like, all right. I'm going to just go back to pick up. I'm picking up my order. They still pick your order. They still text you with you if you just come and pick it up instead of delivering it to your house. <sighs> Walmart been having me fucked up. Me. So I'm just sitting here and eating till they do. I'm gonna get my order and get my ass back up the road. I got shit plan. But today, let's see how many barbecues she gave me because I done ran out of this. I done dogged this whole out. Yeah, that's a, that's a dinner, so barbecue sauce is good. Damn, a bunch of people order at this time. Hella cars is pulling up. Y'all, let me try to eat the rest of my food and get my order. And I will holler at y'all whenever. All right. Peace. Hey, y'all. Good morning. And welcome back to another video, y'all. It's early in the morning. Well, not really that early. It's like 9.30. And um, I'm about to go to breakfast with Pops. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen this little nigga in a minute. So he want to do breakfast. So that's what we going to do. I'm dressed and I'm ready to go, y'all. I barely put this wig on. <laughs> it's not glued down. I just, you know. And my braids is puffy because I need to rebraid them, but that's why I stick them up a little bit. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Because I don't care. I'm just going to breakfast. Like, I ain't going to see nobody but some French toast and some bacon. You hear me? That's what I'm going to see. So, yeah, we're about to go have breakfast, catch up, see what he done had going on. I ain't had nothing going on but life. You know what I'm saying? Life per usual. But yeah, so that's what we're doing this morning. And I think I'm going to add this to my mukbang video because y'all, y'all going to see it before this. But I went to go pick up groceries and I was hungry because I had got up early, but I didn't eat until like 1.30 in the afternoon. Oh, shit, here he go calling me. I got to go. Ooh, look, so he's on his way. Four minutes ago. And he already here. Let's go. Hey, uh, I'm back at home. Breakfast was good. You know what I'm saying? I need, just came from out the door, so I need to wash my hands. Hold on. I'm going to put y'all up right here. I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Hold on. Let me Every time I come to the house for my side, I wash my hands. I cannot wash my hands. Hand sanitizer is not it. Will I use it? Yeah. But is that a substitute for washing your hands? Hell no. Nah. And if you think it is, you nasty. And I don't care how nobody feel like it. That's nasty. Like, wash your hands, bro. Wash your hands. You feel me? Just wash your hands. But um, it was feeling nice and cool. It was feeling nice and cool when I left around, let me say 10. It's only an hour and a half later, y'all, and it's hot as hell. It's hot outside, so I went to Walmart to give me a spray bottle. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, this cute little spray bottle. I used to have a pink one. It wasn't like, you know, diamond out like this one. But um, they didn't have no pink ones, so I thought this was real cute. So I'm gonna wash it out, put my little mix up in it, 
Let's put a little bit of stuff, soft soap in it. Shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. I could not find these at my Walmart. I couldn't even find one at the dollar store. They only had those big ones. And I already had one of them. And I use that for cleaning. So this is for my hair. So. Um. Not this hair. My real hair. So. So. Because when I don't have my. When I don't have my wigs on. Y'all I got. Four plaits in my hair right now. I'm surprised this motherfucker ain't slid off. To be honest. But um. I put four plaques in it, and I'm about to take them down, spray my hair, and braid it back up, so, for the rest of the week, because she don't comb no hair. I don't want to comb no hair. Um, remember what I said in the previous video? I'm thinking about going bald. Not like skin bald, but like real, real short, blonde or red. Haven't really decided yet, for sure, but, because baby, these maps. Mm -mm. No, and I'm not putting no perm on it. But then again, like, how's that gonna work with short hair? I gotta think this shit through because I can't be short and nappy. This shit already thick and nappy as it is. You know what I'm saying? It's real thick, real thick, and we're not. But anyway, I ain't thinking into all that. Y'all know the deal. If you this kind, you know the deal with this 4D E F G hair I got. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate it. Either way, I'm doing what the f I want to do with it. Because it's mad. You feel me? It's mad. I'm going to take these f clothes off and get back comfortable because, baby, it's hot and I'm hot. I was outside for a good maybe five minutes, literally. In and out, in and out. In and out of the griddle cakes. In and out of Walmart. And it is hot. In and out the car. It's hot. It's hot. I just ain't used to being outside like that. I be in the house in the AC on full blast. Majority of the time when I'm at home, my air stays on. I never turn it off. I don't care how high my bill is, I'm never turning it off. It's too hot to turn it off. Until we get a little bit of winter, which I need to hear up. Until we get a little bit of winter, baby. This air is on. And even in the winter, I have my fan on. So, <laughs> am I a polar bear? I don't know. But I'm gonna get into this mother here. Take this hair off, spray my hair, and chillax. And I'll see y'all in another day or two. Who knows? This is like a weekly vlog. So today you might see a little bit of me. Tomorrow you might see a little bit of me. You know, who knows? It depends on how I'm feeling or what I get into. Breakfast was short. We just went in. We had to wait like 20 minutes. Not even 20 minutes. I think we waited like 10 minutes before we were seated. That wasn't that bad. And then when we got in there, we waited another like 20 minutes because, you know, food had to be fresh. But do y'all know, everybody else got their food around us before us. And we was in there before them. Like a couple of tables, we was in there first. She took our orders. But people that came in after us got their food before we got our food. Didn't ask us, did we want a refill? Didn't give us an update on the food. Like, you know, because it was taking a minute. Like, oh, it's going to be another couple minutes. None of that. Customer service, trash. Food was good. You can't fuck French toast. If you fuck French toast, nothing wrong with you. It was nice and fluffy. I will insert a pic. Well, there's going to be a little bit of that in here anyway. But y'all seen the food. It was good, too. To me, it was good. Pops liked it, too. He got chicken and waffles. And I got French toast, bacon, and eggs. And it was good. But as far as the service and the timeliness of it and the courtesy, zero. I told him don't get them hoes no tip. And I don't care how nobody feel about it. Bad service don't deserve no tip. Point blank in the period. You give good service, you get good tips. Flat out, like, period. But you don't give good service, baby. <laughs> I'm giving you my money just because the f I'm not. Even though I didn't pay for nothing, he wasn't giving him no money neither. I said, uh-uh. Because he was about to tip the bus boy or whatever to want to get the drinks. But he didn't even ask me that I want to refill all my coffee. But I saw him refilling everybody else's coffee. I was like, oh, okay. Say you don't like black people if that's how you feel. 
Cause one thing about it, I know I tip good. And I know my dad tip good. He tip everywhere he go. But yeah, I told him, you ain't giving him no tip. Cause he didn't even ask me, did I need some more coffee or anything? He didn't get no tip either. So I see him attempting. I said, I know you're not attempting to get him no tip. Don't do that. Don't do that. They didn't check on us not one time. They didn't ask us, did we need anything? Not one time. So yeah, nah, bad service. The food was good, but the service was bad, and that's just on period. And over here, around here, we ain't tipping for no bad service. So get your service manners up, get your customer service skills up, and then you can get a tip. But he don't ever plan on going there again because of how bad the service was to him. He said he'll never go in there again. I ain't gonna lie, I would, cause the food tastes good. So yeah. I would probably order it to go. But I mean, I wasn't sitting there because yeah, the service was, it was Google. They need to work on that. I might put their name here. I don't know. Did I say it already? I don't know. I might bleep it out because I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think about that. But I'm going to y'all in the next one. See you soon. Someone is a block of my table.